the global stock market's daily trading volume averages $264 billion worldwide, and this is broken down into the daily average of $50 billion in the United States, £6 billion in the UK, and $4.5 billion Australian dollars in Australia alone. For the past 200 years, we've all been trading via the traditional stock market, a tried and tested way of investment, a regulated, centralised and geographically limited market, offering an extremely low speed of liquidity. And in 2017 came the global ICO craze, where over 430 cryptocurrencies emerged, amassing a total of $5 billion worth of coins. However, most of these coins failed in a spectacular fashion due to lack of regulation. ICO, also known as Initial Coin Offering, is a decentralized blockchain concept which boasts global availability. However, it is not available for listing on major exchanges, thus the reason it lacks control and regulation. A major shift is happening in the world of finance right now as we speak. STO, also known as Security Token Offering, is offering the best of both worlds, securing its place as the next big thing since ICOs. STO uses blockchain technology and it is regulated under the traditional stock market. This allows blockchain and cryptocurrencies to restore some much needed credibility. While traditional securities are slow and expensive, security tokens facilitate services at a lower cost. They are also traded on specialized security exchanges, providing investors with a convenient way to liquidate their assets. With STO, we are no longer restricted geographically, as borders or regional regulations do not limit security tokens. Whether we like it or not, the world is rapidly changing right in front of our eyes, and our capability to transform and adapt is what ensures both our survival and success. Welcome to the equilibrium, a state in which opposing forces or influences are balanced, because for every yin, there will be a yang. And much like yin and yang, achieving the ideal balance between the two markets is vital to the progress of the financial ecosystem. And that is the guiding principle at the heart of Uni Equilibrium, or Uni E, the new token created within the Unihash smart contract blockchain technology. A total of 420 million coins will be issued, with 40% released via mining. Uni E is the base cryptocurrency for STO transactions, and the Unihash board is the STO gateway under the Sydney Stock Exchange. With more than 2,000 companies featured in the Unihash board soon, the choices and potential are truly limitless. This is a call to action, to be a part of an ecosystem where all the action lies. The birth of a new arena, where you get the best of both worlds. The start of a new dream, where you can trade with peace of mind. And that is the beauty of the equilibrium. Over the past couple of days Bitcoin, BTC, has incurred a significant influx of buying pressure that has sent its price skyrocketing towards the upper dollar $11,000 region, which has proven to be a slight level of resistance for the cryptocurrency. Despite facing some resistance, the current rally may be significantly bolstered by China's possible devaluation of the yuan, which has led to an outflow from the fiat currency and, as some analysts believe, into Bitcoin. At the time of writing, is trading up over 8% at its of $11,720 and is up significantly from its daily lows of $10,900. Over a one-week period, it grows increasingly clear that BTC is in the throes of a full-fledged uptrend, as it has surged from lows of $9,400 to highs of $11,800 that were set yesterday, although it does appear that there is some resistance at this price region. This bullish price action came about after a long period of downwards pressure that was first sparked in late June when the crypto surged towards $13,800 before plunging to lows of $9,100.